Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. I've had a request from Phoebe and she'd like me to draw an otter, so that's what we're going to be doing today. All that you need is some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link above here. Let's get started. To start off, we're going to draw a little circle, or more like a little oval shape, up here. So a little oval there, and then we're going to draw a line, just coming diagonally down, just to about there. We're going to draw another line, just at an angle to that one, just there. Then at the bottom of this one, we're going to be drawing a slightly larger circle, Now remember, these circles don't have to be perfect. And you can pause or stop the video at any time and rewind if I'm going too fast. Okay, so at the bottom of this oval shape, we're going to be drawing a line that's in parallel to that line. Now again, it doesn't have to be straight. Mine's rather wonky. You can use a ruler if you like, but it's not really necessary. So bring it down to about there. From there, we're going to be drawing a line straight across to this circle here. Now, from the bottom of this circle, we're going to be drawing a curved line downwards. Now that's going to be the tail. We're going to be drawing a line just coming out like that. That's the hind leg. One line coming straight down here and then going off at an angle. And then a slightly smaller one on this side coming straight down and going at an angle parallel to this one. Okay, so now we're going to be dividing this oval at the top. So we're just going to be showing the direction of the head. So a curved shape like that. And then from about halfway, we're going to draw another curved shape going all the way up till it hits that line. Okay, now we're going to be putting in the eyes. So just a tiny little circle here, little circle here, make sure it's on this line. Then at the end here, we're going to be drawing a little nose like that. And then just put in the ears where the ears are gonna be. One that side and one that side. So I'm going to start off with the head. And then starting off here, I'm going to draw the top part of the head, which comes down like this. You can carry on in pencil. I'm just doing this in ink just to show you on camera. Bring the line around here and then do your nose, just like that. At the bottom of the nose, just draw a shape coming round, and then one coming all the way around, like that. Then we're going to add in the eye, so there's the circle, and then do bit of dark just at the top right hand corner of that then we're going to add in the other eye it was peeping out from behind there just like that we're going to make the nose a little bit darker and then we're going to just show the lower lip underneath like that okay so let's carry on with the head Bring it round and then bring it down like so and then the same on this side. Bring it down and then we're going to do the ears. So little ear like this. Do the inner part of the ear. Just block it in a little bit. And then the same on the other side, just draw the ear just poking out behind there. And we're going to put in some dots where the whiskers are. Put in some whiskers. Just like that. And then we're just going to add a little light part on the eye. And the same on the other side. Then we're just going to add a little line coming up by the side of the nose just to give it some structure. Okay, so coming down, we're going to carry on this line. 
So it's coming all the way down to the leg, which is just here. And then we're just going to do the foot. So one little toe like that, another little toe like that, another little toe like that. And then bring it round underneath. Okay, I'm just going to draw the back of the leg here. Just draw some furry lines like that. Then we're going to add some claws, just like so. Then we're going to do the foot on the other side. So this one's just peeping out like that. So one toe, another toe, another toe. And that part of the foot and then some claws. There we go. Okay, so carry on the furry lines back here. And then here, we're going to start the hind leg. So just bring line round like that. And then toe there, another toe, and then one like so to about there. And then we're going to add some claws, bring these lines on the underbelly, bring it round, bring it round. Okay, now we're going to carry on the top part. So we're going to be drawing the back. We're going to be following this circle round. And then we're going to be drawing it down to the tail. And then the other side of the tail. So the tail's quite thick at the top. And then it comes all the way down. All the way down like so. And then bring it up. And then now I'm going to rub out all the pencil lines. Okay, so let's add the finishing touches. So we need some more furry lines coming around here. And then the marking comes all the way down here, down towards the front, and then again underneath here, and round, just like so. And then we're going to carry on the furry lines all the way underneath to the underbelly. And then just show some shadow here on the other leg. So. This foot's in shadow, so we'll draw that all in like that. Okay, and then coming round. Bring it round. And then some more furry lines underneath on the belly. Just to show that it's all in shadow. And then a little bit behind the neck here. There we go, just to show that it's a really silky coat. Just like so. Carry it on round here. And then bring it round. Bring it all the way round. You could just keep on going and going, adding more and more shading. We're just going to do the minimum on this video. So we'll just bring it round. So add a bit more shadow down here. More shadow all the way down. There we go. Keep on going. Bring 
bring this out a little bit more. There we go. A bit more on the back. You're almost done. And there, we just a little bit more on the face. And then we better draw what it's standing on. So it can just be on the river bank here. Just draw some shadow underneath it. Just some sketchy lines like this. And there we have our finished otter. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please consider hitting subscribe and like, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.